Hey guys, Q's here and today I'm going to talk about AMD Ryzen. AMD announced that the first three Ryzen CPUs will be released on March 2nd. They promise better price performance ratio compared to Intel CPUs and also to outperform their high-end CPUs. They will release them in three different price levels, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3. Sounds familiar? First three CPUs to be released are going to be Ryzen 7, which are the most expensive ones and you can see all of them right now on the screen along with their prices. You can pre-order them right now on many different retailers. Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 CPUs however will be released later this year. All of these CPUs have 8 cores and 16 threads. They differ in clock speeds and price though, and also Ryzen 7 1700 has lower TDP. All Ryzen CPUs are overclockable, but only if you have a proper motherboard. By the way, suffix X in the name of the CPU just means that it has XDR, which stands for Extended Frequency Range. It basically allows CPU to go beyond its boost clock, but only if you have a good CPU cooler. Let's start with Ryzen 7 1800X, the fastest 8-core CPU on the market. Well, at least that's what AMD says. So you can see its specifications right now on the screen. It has a base clock of 3.6 GHz, it boosts to 4 GHz. It has of course 8 cores and 16 threads. Uh, its TDP is 95 watts and the price uh, $500, not 499 uh, And this course uh, 1601 in Cinebench. And you can see here how it compares to i7 6900K. Next we have Ryzen 7 1700X. Its base clock is 3.4 GHz. It boosts to 3.8 GHz. 8 cores, 16 threads. It has a TDP of 95 watts. And its price is $400. Again, not 399 and it's called 1537 in Cinebench. And the last CPU that will be released on March 2nd is Ryzen 7 1700. Uh, its base clock is 3 GHz, it boosts to 3.7 GHz, 8 cores, 16 threads, but it has a TDP of 65 watts and price of $330. And it's called 1410 in Cinebench. Using the handbrake video encoding test, uh, R7 1700 finished in 61.8 seconds versus 71.8 seconds for the 7700K. You can see right now on the screen how it compares uh, to a new CPU from Intel i7 7700K. Ryzen 1700 will come with a new uh, Rage Fire cooler, which will run at 32 decibels. Other two Ryzen CPUs will not. And IMD confirmed the RAID Stealth Cooler too. AMD said that one of its goals was to increase uh, Zen's IPC, which stands for instructions per cycle, the average number of instructions executed for each clock cycle. It's basically uh, CPU's efficiency uh, by 40%. In fact, they achieved uh, an increase of 52%. All three chips will be supported by motherboards from ASRock, ASUS, BioStar, Gigabyte and MSI, 82 different motherboards in total. They will be based on the AM4 platform and AMD's X370 and B350 chipsets. But uh, what about Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3? Well, Ryzen 5 will be released somewhere in the second quarter and Ryzen 3 in the second half of the year. You can see now on the screen all Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 CPUs that will be released along with their clock speeds, cache price and some other information. If this makes you wonder what the next move by Intel will be, well, we'll see, but Micro Center already dropped prices of certain CPUs. You can expect huge price drops of Intel CPUs in every computer store after Ryzen comes out. 
And by the way, AMD's high-end GPUs, Vega, are also scheduled to come out somewhere in the second quarter of the current year. That's it for this video. Uh, what do you think? Will Ryzen really fulfill all of our expectations? Leave your opinion down in the comment section and see you guys in the next video.